a debate on stricter gun control nationally and locally. And this morning, new polls suggest that public opinion on gun control laws might be changing. This also of some sporting goods stores are suspending certain types of sales. Angelica Duria has more from Grafton. We are here outside Dick's Sporting Goods where the retailer has decided to pull certain semi-automatic rifles from its shelves. It has decided voluntarily to suspend the sales of those firearms from its chains nationwide and at the store nearest to Newtown, Connecticut. It has removed all of its guns from its shelves. In a statement, the store says the move was made out of respect for the victims and families during this time of mourning. Now, this comes at the same time as three new polls suggest that public opinion Opinion on gun laws may be changing. An ABC News Washington Post poll released yesterday shows 44% of people strongly support stricter gun laws, with 32% of them opposed. A CBS News poll shows 57% of Americans support tightening restrictions. That number increased from 39% back in April. And a Pew Research Center survey shows similar findings that 47 compared to 44% of people polled say the shooting reflects a broader problem in society than just isolated acts by troubled in individuals. Here locally and even nationally, that debate on gun control continues. In New York yesterday, Mayor Michael Bloomberg was joined by members of the Sikh Temple in Oak Creek. They are calling for the president and lawmakers in Congress to pass tougher gun laws. They want mandated background checks, bans on selling assault rifles, and high-capacity magazines. As for the suspension, though, of certain gun sales here at Dick's Sporting Goods, it is unclear exactly how long that uh, suspension will last. Reporting in Grafton, Angelica Duria, Fox 6 News. Fox 6 is committed to keeping you informed at the tragedy at Sandy Hook. Join us tonight for a special look at the issues surrounding the events in